Stangible Disco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I have some more information regarding uh, a Sentinel hex beam antenna that will work on wavelengths all the way down or all the way as long as 160 meters. Uh, it's produced by a company called Radio Waves, uh, and but it's spelled radio and then W-A-V-Z, Radio Waves. Type in the Google search box for any and all of the words, or any or all of the words, the words Sentinel 160 Radio Wave Z. That's R A D I O W A V Z. Uh, just type those words in there, and it will give you um, some very detailed specifications uh, for this antenna. And um, then you'll find some other articles, a picture of the contraption. It looks sort of like an old, like a really elaborate clothes hanger from the olden days, like when I was a kid and everything. Now, here in the black holes, we don't get very many ice storms or very many heavy wind storms. So an antenna like that might survive fairly well, depending upon, of course, where in the holes you are located. But if you get out on the South Dakota prairie, east of the black holes, say in Kadoka, or in uh, a town like even Rapid City, and you put up at a contraption like this, <laughs> <laughs> you better take out liability insurance, buddy, because that thing is going to be scattered all over the neighborhood. Uh, if you if you live on a ranch, and uh, and if you don't mind uh, having to periodically, and by that I mean every few weeks, put up your uh, your antenna again or buy a new one. You know there was a thunderstorm in Rapid City. No, it was a blizzard, a blizzard, that produced wind gusts of get this. 119 miles per hour. Uh, a sentinel uh, antenna would not withstand those winds, I do not believe. There aren't very many antennas that would. Uh, common on the South Dakota prairies and in much of the West, they can get surprisingly violent winds. I remember in the Wapiti Valley near Cody, where I purchased the Long Wave Ranch a few years ago when I had a bit of money, they had wind gusts of up to 150 miles an hour. Sustained at 85, that's a Category 1 hurricane. You get ice storms in places on the East Coast that would render such an antenna nothing more than a very beautiful mess. However, to answer my uh, f my friends uh, in Dubai, yes, there are antennas, uh, sentinel uh, beam antennas, that do work all the way down to 160 meters, and you can buy kits for them. I would recommend building a sturdier version than they show in these photographs and specifications. That's why I have placed this video in the reviews and remarks playlist because that's just my opinion. It's just my opinion that an ice storm or a 120 or a 150 mile an hour wind gust would probably destroy a 160 meter sentinel beam antenna. And I have to confess to you, I'd love to watch it happen. Ah, Stangibalisco W1. Good vibrations. Saying 73, which means best regards in amateur radio jargon. And even on a tangled up, destroyed sentinel beam antenna would still probably get a feeble signal out in the form of so long. Da-da-da-da-da-da.